Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Normal view is the default view in PowerPoint. You can select this view by clicking the Normal button that appears in the Presentation Views button group on the View tab in the ribbon. In this view you can see much of your presentation's content. This view contains many different panes of information you can use to make changes to your presentation's content. The large middle pane shows the currently selected slide in the slide view. You can change the slide objects directly on the slide in this pane. This is where you will probably make most of your editing changes in PowerPoint. Below that pane is a smaller pane into which you can enter speaker notes for the currently selected slide. You can toggle the display of this notes pane on and off by clicking the notes button that appears at the bottom of the slide within the status bar. Notes entered into this pane will also appear in the notes page view. In this pane you may add notes you want the speaker to use during the presentation. Every presentation slide has a corresponding notes page so you can associate extra information with the slide without having to display it on the actual slide in the presentation. You can even use the printed form of the notes page view for audience handouts. At the right side of the slide pane, below the vertical scroll bar, are the next slide and previous slide buttons. You can click these buttons to move up and down through the slides in your presentation. In normal view, you can enable the display of a ruler and grid lines for your slides in order to assist you in placing and aligning content within the slide. To do this, check the ruler and or grid lines checkboxes that appear in the show group on the view tab to enable their display. You can click the same checkboxes again to clear the checks from the checkboxes to disable their display as well. You can check the guides checkbox to enable the display of guides to assist you in placing object content into your slides if desired. You can click and drag the guidelines that appear to change their location within the slides. If you wish to add another guideline, hold down the control key on your keyboard and then click and drag one of the two default guidelines that appear to add another guideline of the same type. You can then release the control key when you are finished. You can uncheck the guides checkbox to disable their display when you no longer need them for object placement. You can click and drag on the window split shown between the slide window and the pane at the left in order to change the amount of room available to each. You can also perform this same task with the window split shown at the bottom of the window in normal view. If you click and drag the split between the right and left panes all the way to the left, you can minimize the left side pane. You can then click the thumbnails button that appears in the strip at the left side of the screen to display the slide thumbnails once again. In normal view, all of your current slides will be displayed in the pane at the left side of the screen. You cannot edit the content of the slides in this pane. It is used to navigate your presentation. You can scroll up and down through the listing of slides shown in this pane and then click on the one that you would like to display in the main slide window in order to edit its content. You can also click and drag the pictures of the slides shown here to reorganize the sequence of slides shown in your presentation if desired. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.